HTML is relatively transparent. If we look at the HTML, the Hello John over here on the web page, we can see how this maps directly onto the Hello John within the HTML. It gets more complicated if we deal with user input. So if someone types John into an input box, to move that John from the input box and it insert it somewhere in the HTML, it makes things more complex. So I'm going to look at two different ways of addressing this problem. I'm going to look at how jQuery deals with this problem and how Cellmaster deals with the problem of user input. Cellmaster is spreadsheet based. First jQuery. So here we're inserting the input, the greeting, and adding some JavaScript. So we add the JavaScript function and add some IDs, an ID for the input and an ID for the greeting. And now we're going to grab the input and grab the greeting and add a callback function, in this case key up. So this will get executed every time a key is pressed. Inside the callback function, I'm going to put the code to modify the HTML so it will actually create the greeting and if we test it, can type John and we get hello John, Peter, hello Peter, Walter, William, everything works. Now if we switch to Cellmaster, to set it up we add an input box, a text box, we add a formula for the greeting, so the hello and append to the end of the hello the contents of the text box and change the colour, set it to bold. Modify the font. Okay, now we can type in John and we get hello John, Peter, Walter, William, everything works the same. And if we look at the underlying spreadsheet, we can see inside the spreadsheet that William is inside of the spreadsheet and the hello William feeds back into the web page. So if we look at how both deal with the problem of user input, with the JavaScript we have a JavaScript function and this has to grab various HTML elements and then some kind of callback function and inside the callback function we write the code to modify the HTML. If we compare this to Cellmaster, the difference is quite dramatic. We have a user interface function, the text box, and a traditional formula to produce the output. And when the input is modified, this formula automatically recalculates as is normal with a spreadsheet. Now, buttons are important, so I'll just quickly demo a button that will create a list. Add a button, a button formula, center it, change it to blue, add a formula to copy the contents of B5 and insert it above B6 and test it. John, Peter, Walter, William and you can see we get a list and if we look at the underlying spreadsheet we can see the list of greetings appear inside the spreadsheet. So to wrap up, Cellmaster requires no HTML, no JavaScript, no web server knowledge. If you know how to use spreadsheet formulas then you can create your own interactive web application in a few minutes.